Hi, and welcome to our channel. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive our latest videos if you haven't done so yet. As always, glad to have supporters. Let's visit Wood Nest Cabin designed by Helen and Hard located in Norway. Stemming from the client's wish to create a unique spatial experience that connects to both the ordinary and extraordinary sensation of climbing and exploring trees, the aim was to create a space that truly embodies what it means to dwell in nature. There were several challenging aspects of this small project. Being able to create a complete cabin only supported by one quite narrow tree without additional columns or using several trees. Secondly, how to create a climatized room around a growing living tree. The cabins constructed around a steel pipe, cut in halves, and then attached together again around the tree with four penetrating bolts. This became a rigid backbone to build the rest of the cabin from. The bridge and two steel wires were applied to fix the tree horizontally so that all the weight only goes vertically down the trunk with no eccentric loads. Around the backbone, space is constructed by double plywood ribs in a radial shape which defines the enclosed space. The depth of the load-bearing ribs becomes the insulating layer around the nest. On the outside, the cabin has a protective skin of shingles of hardwood pine, which weather over time to merge and blend with the natural patina of the surrounding forest. On the inside, the room is covered with panels from black alder, which gives the space a refined, warm atmosphere. Treehouse is suspended 5 to 6 meters above the forest floor and fastened with a steel collar to the individual trunk of a living pine tree. Let's explore the mushroom, a wood house in the forest. The mushroom is located in a pine forest in China. Thus, handling the relationship between nature and the architecture became the essential approach of our design. The architectural form of the mushroom is composed of two simple volumes according to the functions. The main part of the mushroom is the guest room space with a panoramic window set up near the viewing height. When sitting on chairs or leaning on the bed, the guests are immersed in the surrounding nature. The pure white cone-shaped roof is rounded on top, creating a sense of unbounded extension to the space. The bathroom and storage space are arranged in a simple rectangular volume which is inserted into the main body of the mushroom. A horizontal window is designed next to the bathtub, avoiding the view from pedestrian path to ensure privacy while bringing nature into the space. Meanwhile, the circular light at the top introduces different expressions of light and shadows with the change of time and weather. This poetic space also serves as the entrance lobby of the house where the guests often visit and linger. The mushroom house adopts a lifted steel structure to minimize the impact of construction on the site. As time goes by, green plants on the ground will gradually spread to embrace the building. The cone-shaped roof is cladded with pine woods, while the rest of the house is coated with granolithic concrete. The material changes in color with humidity and time, allowing the building to harmonize with the surrounding natural environment. Meet Kvitsjarl Cabin, designed by Erling Berg. Nestled in the landscape on top of Kvitsjarl, or White Mountain in Norway, this narrow cabin stretches 26 meters to frame the views of the surrounding mountaintops and the horizon beyond towards the southwest. 
Using traditional methods of construction, the entire cabin is built out of local pine wood. The exterior, both walls and the roof is wrapped in untreated wood panels that will naturally gray over time. The entire interior is wrapped in white oiled pine, keeping the light of the space in the darker winter hours. Although every main room in the cabin got view southwest following the sun, bedrooms and bathrooms are kept discreet with storage in the walls, leaving more space for the open kitchen, dining, and family room. The main living spaces and the end suite are lowered in the landscape with vaulted ceilings creating a spacious atmosphere where the cold nature outside connects with the warm interior through the larger glass openings. Let's go to Chile, where architects have designed two minimalist cabins clad in reclaimed oak set high on a hill overlooking the Pacific Ocean in Navidad, Chile. The two small cabins, which are used as holiday homes, were designed to blend in with the coastal landscape in which they're set. At the same time they stand out, Lookout tower-like since they were built with vertically stacked rooms to optimize the built area on the steep slope. Large windows overlook the ocean, 80 meters below the cabins, as well as a large rock jutting out of the sea that is home to sea lions and other animals. Named after bird species native to the reason, the La Loica cabin measures just 20 square meters, while La Tagua is slightly larger at 25 square meters. The exterior of the cabin has been cladded in timber that was manufactured from reclaimed oak sleepers and treated with petroleum oils to provide a barrier against marine corrosion. Inside, the cabins have been lined with recycled wood which acts as thermal insulation. The dining rooms, bathrooms, and kitchens in both cabins are located on the ground floor and feature furniture in the same wood as the interior to help maximize the space. Large windows in the social spaces reinforce the feel of being in a lookout tower and open the cabins up to the ocean views. The bedrooms are located on the upper level and accessed by ladders. Thanks for visiting. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to hear about our latest videos. Stay tuned.